Once upon a time, the art of the movies was to suspend belief. Today, the art is to create belief. One of the greatest challenges in the modern cinema was to make you believe that a man could fly. They succeeded in a film called Superman. The first time I ever saw Chris really fly was at Shepperton Studios, where we built Fortress of Solitude interior. They said, okay, let's try it. And they rolled cameras, and he took off the takeoff. The landings were terrible, were very difficult to coordinate the cable movement up and down and lateral and without jerking him all over the place. And he took off beautifully. And it's the first time I ever saw the takeoff. And it was Chris that made all these things work, because it wasn't just this, he flew. He really flew, and he moved his arms in a very fluid way, and he came at camera, and for some reason, he actually banked his body, and he swung around this thing and flew past us. Camera stopped rolling, and there was dead silence, and then, like, 50 people all of a sudden started just cheer. It was hard to believe we actually did it. We actually made a man fly. There weren't too many thing, odd things, difficult things that I had to really, you know, break down on. It was much more the normal makeups. But there were times when I had to really be on the ball too. Gene Hackman would come in, I got to put a ball cap on him. And over the years that I'd done ball caps and changing them, developing them, and I found the best system was, strangely enough, was to make it pure white. And then I would put my makeup and stuff on it. And Gene Hackman stood up there, he looked close in the and said, What are you trying to do? Turn me into a ping pong ball? He <laughs> said, <laughs> Difficult to explain to him, and he was a bit worried. Anyway, I then carried on doing my makeup, and it, as usual, and it, it worked. He, he didn't worry about it after that, but <laughs> at the time, he seemed like he was quite concerned. <laughs> Thank you.